Good morning, friends, and welcome to FCPL Virtual Storytime. I'm Miss Julia, and you can find me at the Edward F. Fry Memorial Library in Point of Rocks. Right now, I'm in my backyard in Myersville, and you can hear the morning sounds, you can hear a car go by, but also you can hear some birds. And I was hoping, and possibly my cat, I was hoping that you might be able to listen to some birds with me. Spring is almost over and summer is coming, so we're gonna get even more birds as the season goes on. But come on, let's go ahead and get our story time started. Hi again, friends. This is Miss Julia and now I'm inside. And good morning again, so welcome to story time. While our branches are now opening up, uh, we still have vir virtual story times every week. Just keep an eye on our website on fcpl.org for more information about story time and all of the other virtual programs we're offering, especially with the summer challenge. All right, so for those of you who are familiar with my story time, I do like to start off my story time with a song. Uh, if everyone would like to join me, please do. Are you ready? Okay. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Do you want to try that again? Let's do it again. Okay. Ready? Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Great job, friends. Way to go. All righty. So today I have this book, Outside Inside by Lu Yin Pham. She's actually a Caldecott Honor winner. That's a really cool thing. And this book is actually pretty new and you can find it at our libraries. Now the book design was by Sharismar Rodriguez. And what's really cool about this book is that as it says on the copyright page, which is where you'll find all the information about a book, it would help if I opened up to it. This is the copyright page. So this is where you can find out who published it, when it was published, if there are any new editions. Uh, sometimes if you look at a book, you'll see it says 1965, and then you'll see it says 1970, 1985, 1993. Those are new editions, uh, new updated versions of the book with maybe possibly different illustrations or a uh, new binding or just a new reprinting, uh, which is really, really cool. But this was published in 2021. So I think we have a ways to go before any uh, new editions of this book come out. Now, but as it said on the copyright page, these illustrations were born digital. Now, what it means when illustrations are born digital, it means they were entirely done on the computer. That's right, the illustrator used a computer to make these. So the illustrations are really beautiful and it's very 21st century, isn't it? On the computer. All right, outside, inside. Something strange happened on an unremarkable day just before the season changed. Everybody who was outside went inside. Wow. Did you see that on the last page there were so many people? I don't see anybody now. Everyone, everywhere, all over the world. Sound familiar? Everyone just went inside, shut their doors, and waited. Waited. Oh, wow. Do you see everyone's at their windows? They can't go outside. Well, almost everyone. Some people needed to be. We see police officers, we see EMTs, that's an ambulance. Oh, we see a fire truck. And oh, some people are shopping for groceries. They need to be outside. Some people needed to be where they needed to be. Friends, can you take a look at the illustrations here? What do you see? Yeah, 
I see a lot of doctors and nurses and medical technicians, surgeons. We needed them, didn't we? We needed them where we needed them. Outside, the sky was quiet, but the wind still blew and birds kept singing. Raccoons came out and squirrels played in the streets, but the cars stayed away. The world felt a little different. Sure did. Inside, we baked and cooked, made music and watched TV. We read and played games. Some of us worked a little, some of us worked a lot, and some of us couldn't work at all. We all felt a little different. Let's see, we've got some different families happening here. Outside, there were fences, both real and pretend. Swings sat still and slides were lonely. Bells didn't ring and halls were empty. We had birthdays without parties, shared words without sounds, and reached each other without touching. The world was changing a tiny bit outside. See, everyone's maintaining their distance. They're waving at friends. They're wearing masks. They've got signs of hope. The signs say, we will get through this. There's a happy birthday sign. Yeah. Inside, we waited and we worried and we laughed and we cried and we tried to breathe. We made things together and did things alone. We hoped and prayed and wished. We were all changing a tiny bit inside. Outside, the world kept growing. Do you see all the ferns? Do you see all the leaves? Oh, and there's a really cool butterfly. Inside, we kept growing too. Some people got taller. Did you get taller, my friends? Did some people stay the same? That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so why did we all go inside? Well, there were lots of reasons, but mostly because everyone knew it was the right thing to do, to try and keep everyone safe. You try to stay inside, and if you have to go out, you had to mask up, remember? Yeah. On the outside, we are all different. But on the inside, we are all the same. Do you see all the hearts, my friends? Isn't that beautiful? And we remembered that soon spring would come. Inside. And outside. Make sure you all see the beautiful illustrations. Oh, wow. Kind of need a fold out sheet like that. I think that's pretty cool. All right. I want to make sure the pages don't get bent. And the author actually has an author's note at the end of the story. It's kind of long, but I think you should absolutely, if you borrow this book from our library, you should absolutely read the author's note at the end. And I will say who, uh, what the dedication is, uh, is to. It says, this book is humbly and gratefully dedicated to those first responders and essential workers whose sacrifices and dedication to life is immeasurable. The world is in your debt. So, yay! Thank you so much for reading that story with me. Once I read it, I knew I wanted to share it with all of my friends for virtual story time. So that book, if you didn't catch on, is actually about last year. Remember, everything was going pretty normally. Everything was happening as it normally does. Uh, I know all my friends at the Point of Rocks Library were coming in on Tuesday mornings for story time. And I was planning story times. And my coworkers were having all their programs happening. And everything was just sort of going the way it goes. And then because everyone was getting sick, we had to stop all those things and we had to stay inside and we had to adapt and we had to change, you know? 
And a lot of folks are not feeling great about it. And some people felt okay about it. Some people love being inside and not having to go out. But everybody feels differently about it. But for everyone who stayed inside, it was because we knew it was the right thing to do. So it's outside, inside. Well, my friends, thank you so, so much for joining me for my virtual story time. Keep an eye on fcpl.org for more story times like this and so many other virtual programs. We're still doing virtual programming throughout the summer, uh, but definitely check out our summer reading challenge. Uh, we have destination spots you can take a look at. Uh, we also have books that you can read for your reading lists. Absolutely, all the wonderful things. Remember to log them on Beanstack. All right, my friends. Well, let's do our goodbye song and I'll sign off. Are you ready? Remember the sign for ready. Ready? Okay. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Thank you all so, so much. And I hope to see you in our branches uh, soon. We have opened up the branches for some browsing. Uh, keep an eye on our website for information on what our hours are and what, uh, what you have to do. All right, friends, take care. See you next time. <laughs>